Now to campaign 2020. This morning, President Trump is in town. He landed at Miami International Airport last night, but does not have any campaign events set up in our area. With just five days to go into Election Day, our battleground state is busy. Joe Biden is also coming to South Florida later today. Both campaigns are out in full force fighting for Florida and hoping they can swing the state in their favor. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live from the president's resort in Doral, where he is waking up this morning. Brooke, what can we expect for today? Well, Maribel, good morning. We know that the president does not have any scheduled events in Miami-Dade this morning. Like you said, he is waking up at his resort here in Doral. Meanwhile, his opponent, former Vice President Joe Biden, will be in Broward County later today. President Trump is waking up at his Doral resort this morning. It's a quick trip for the president, who later today will head to Tampa. A few hundred votes this way or a few hundred votes that way in the I-4 corridor could put one uh, on top. Political science professor Ed Benton says Central Florida is a key indicator who will win the election. If you took the characteristics, the demographic characteristics of those people, that they would almost always correctly predict going back 30 and 40 years predict predict who won the election. There are now five days to go until November 3rd. The president and his opponent, former Vice President Joe Biden, are each battling to keep up the momentum for a win in the Sunshine State. Oh, Florida, you guys spoil me. The crowds here are too good. They're rowdy. I like it. The president's son, Donald Trump Jr., made several stops across Florida yesterday. Daughter Ivanka Trump was in Miami on Tuesday. Hello, Florida. Meanwhile, the Biden campaign sent former President Barack Obama to North Miami over the weekend. Early voting in South Florida has turned out record numbers already, leaving Miami-Dade Republicans and Democrats feeling confident. This is actually above what I was thinking. We're on pace to you know, smash uh, the, the turnout that we put out in, in 2016. Um, so we're, we're feeling very confident here. We just need to keep working. We're catching up. And I think overall, we're seeing a lot of energy and a lot of excitement on the Republican side for, for our candidates. And Maribel knew this morning President Trump getting involved in some South Florida politics overnight. He tweeted that he endorses Republican Maria Elvira Salazar. She is running for Congress. The president at the same time criticized her opponent, Donna Shalala, calling her a, quote, political hack. Now, Maribel, we do expect the president to get on the road heading back to MIA and then heading to a rally in Tampa later this afternoon. Meanwhile, his opponent, Joe Biden, again campaigning in Broward County later today. He'll hold a drive-in style rally in Coconut Creek. For now, I'm live in Doral. Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 This Morning.